All right, here we go again. We are back. This is Ian with your hometown handyman, bringing on a small project. That's what this company specializes in. And today, we're back in beautiful Rockford, Florida. Loving it. We are in Florida, so that means, yes, it's starting to warm up. But that's okay. That's why we live here, right? So today's project is going to be screen replacement. So these are for windows. The owner is getting ready to sell the home. They're gonna be heading up to the north of the country, so they're gonna go cool off a little bit for these warmer times. But we're here helping them out, focus on making them happy, because that's what we specialize in also as yeah. happy customers. And these are the screens we're gonna be dealing with here. Let me show you. So typically you're gonna get an inspection when you go to sell your home, and there's a lot of things that come up that the inspectors are gonna find. So they're trying to beat the inspector to the punch and get things like this fixed here. So that's a screen there that's coming undone. You can see it's the spline has come out. So that's one. We've got another one over here that has a rip in it. Right there. And the bottom here is coming out as also. And if you come around here, we've got another screen that we're getting ready to rescreen that we took out already. It's sitting over here. So, stick with me. I'll show you the process. You guessed it. We'll make that happy customer. Let's get to it. Here we go. All right, all the screens we're going to be working with today are similar size. And I'm going to show you a few of the things that we're going to be using. And this is a thinner diameter spline for these builder grade type screen frames here. We got our screen. This is all items that can be purchased at Lowe's or Home Depot. We're going to use that to get rid of the spline out of the frame. A pair of scissors I like to use to cut the screen with or the spline. Our handy dandy Milwaukee knife there. This is what makes a happy customer. All these materials, that's what we're headed to do. Let's get to it, here we go. All right, so I just want to show you here. We have our new screen here that I'm cutting. We've got the old screen that I pulled out of the screen frame. What I would like to do is I like to take this original piece of screen, as long as it's intact for the most part from the original dimensions, and use that as a template. So I'll, I'll roll out my material. I'll lay this on top of the new material, the old material, on top of the new material. And then I'll get a nice bit of extra screen there. So that way I have enough to work with when I'm tucking the screen. So that's one way I like to do it to help get this process complete. And all of the screens that we are going to be screening today are the same size. So we're gonna cut four of these to this same dimension that we just cut this first screen to. So time to keep the party moving. Let's get to it. All right, to walk you through the process of redoing one of these screens is pretty easy, but there's still a couple things to know. I use this hook tool to get inside the channel here to pull out this old spline. We already cut our new screen to size earlier, so we can put that right in place. This should come out generally pretty easy, but if it doesn't, you can use this hook tool. I'll leave a link for that in the description. Husky, or the other one might be Cobalt. Either one of those brand new, probably go to Harbor Freight. Once that's been taken out of there, we'll take our piece that we cut earlier, and we'll lay it over the opening. Generally, you're gonna have a factory edge somewhere along your piece of screen. And that's what I'll use as an indicator to line up the screen on the frame. So this edge over here is nice and square. We're gonna use that and not worry about this side so much. So once that's lined up good, we're gonna take some of our new spline here. And the thing about this spline, it's the right size, but to help it go in a little bit easier, you just barely pull on it and help thin it out just a little bit, not too much, just a little bit. And that will help it fit down in that track that much easier. I'm gonna get the length I need here. I'm gonna cut it. Set it down on the channel there. This tool is great. You can get from Home Depot or Lowe's. Order it on Amazon. That's the spline roller right there. And this guy has two sides to it. 
one's kind of flat and wide that kind of houses the spline in, in the middle of it and this other one I use it to help run the screen inside the channel as well we're gonna go ahead and start running this screen down in the channel back with our spline go across with our spline and just pressing nice and light for the first pass second pass you can roll it back and forth and get it down in there a little bit better any little extra you have, take your scissors. These are lineman scissors. Usually I'll have them in like electrical or communications kit. I love these for cutting all kinds of different things. Those work great. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to work the sides and then do the opposite side where I started last. Just want to make sure it's nice and square. Get all the slack out that you can. And take the roller. Start running it in the channel with this tool here. Grab this guy and give it a little pull. You gently run your spline tool over the spline in the channel. Help get that set in there. We'll go back over again and get it nice and snug in there. Then we're gonna go to the opposite side over here. And the goal with this is to try to get your screen to be tight. But if you go too tight, it's going to end up deforming your screen and making it twist. Because the screen is not made of a very strong metal. It's just light aluminum. What we want to do is just make sure that we're going to make it snug, but not too tight. We're going to run the tool, the spline tool, down on the channel. Keeping a little bit of tension on it with our hand here. And as you start to tuck this material on the channel, it will pull that side tight. Won't seem like it is, but you just keep your hand on this slack material out here on the outside of the frame while you're tucking it, and it will pull the screen tight. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set our spline in the channel and run it again. And we'll go back a few more times to make sure it's in there nice and tight. Cut that. For the last panel that you're going to do, you want to be really light with your roller tool. You just barely tuck it in because you put too much tension on the screen, it's going to deform the frame. So you're going to be there's going to be too much tension and the frame will start to bend and warp a little bit. Nice and easy, pull it back as you're guiding it into the channel. Give it a last little tuck. And then now it's time to take a nice fresh blade Make sure your blade is brand new. You're going to want to cut right along the edge here, right on this outside edge right here. And when you do that, you're going to take that frame and use it as a guide while you're pulling the knife against it. You got to be careful though, because obviously you don't want to cut the screen on the other side. So once you do it like that, right above the spline, you have a nice clean cut and it'll look nice and professional just the way you want it. And guess what? You guessed it, that makes the happy customer. Yes. So we're gonna finish this up, get back to you on the other side where the happy customer is. All right, let's do it. All right, folks, that wraps up the project. Let me show you the end result. So we had a total of four windows and it's, it's kind of hard to tell, but this is the new screen. And with it, you can tell it's a lot darker. There's obviously no holes in it, it's nice and tight. Obviously when you're selling a home, they are gonna point out any issues with the screen. This is an older one here. And you can just kind of see some of the discoloration in the fiberglass strands. So there's no issues with this one, it's just a little older. Here's a new one that we did. So you can see it's a lot darker. You can see the pattern there. One more over here by the AC unit. We got taken care of. 
see it's nice and tight. Now we did get one more out front that was replaced and the painter is out there right now. So we're not gonna mess with going around out there. Once again, happy customer. That's the only reason why I showed up today, right? It wasn't to do the job, it was just to make someone happy. So if you wanna be that next someone and you have smaller projects, this company might be able to help you out. If you'd like to reach me or the company, number is 321-355-2201. I'd absolutely love to help you. And if you just need a few answers to some of the questions you have, I'd love to take time to help you with that. You can message me on any of the social platforms through YouTube or just through the phone number. You can also text that phone number. And if there is another project that I'm not able to help you with, you can ask me and I'll try to steer you in the right direction for another company that can help with that. Or you can check out the preferred partners list, which is in the description of the post or the video, wherever you're watching this. And also, you guessed it, you made a happy customer. It's a fact, it's a done deal. So until the next episode, if you'd like to check out more videos, check out the link or check out the videos at the end of this one over there to watch more of these great videos that have small jobs that are on your mind frequently. This is Ian with your hometown handyman, helping you love the home you live in. Have a great day, might see you next.